Hello everyone. So in today's video, we'll be looking at how to design a Torx screw. So a Torx screw is usually used for safety and protection methods. It's usually used in machine covers to prevent uh, random people from having the access to the machine. So what you're looking at here is the 3D model that we'll be ending up with uh, by the end of this tutorial. Without further ado, let's jump into the design. So, um, to create this screw, go to new, click part, and then click OK. Select front plane, make sure that your units are set up correctly, and start sketching. So, we start from here, just to draw the overall shape of the screw. Just make it close, then go to three point arc, Click on these two points and you should be good to go. So the overall length of the screw should be 30 millimeters. The diameter is six, which is three in radius. This diameter here should be six. And this distance should be 3.4. And this distance should be 2.85. Good. The overall length of the head should be 4.6. And this line should be tangent to this. Right? Now let's add in um, a chamfer. One millimeter chamfer. Select these two lines and click OK. Then go to revolve pose. Click on this line and click OK. You should get something like that. Now let's go to feature fillets. Let's add a fillet here. So the fillet should be very small as well. 0.25 is good. Let's add it here. There we go. Now let's go to this face, select it and go to hole wizard. Select hole, ISO, drill size 3.5 and the depth should be four and the hole of course should be applied, right? Click on position, click here and then click OK. Should get something like that. Stay on the same face and then go to sketch, click on polygon, three lines polygon, click here and then click again to create the second one. This should be horizontal, this should be horizontal as well, this and these should be equal. Right, now let's add in fillets, 0.25 fillets, here, here, here as well, here as well, and here as well. All right, you'll get this message popping up. Just ignore it. Um, this should get the job done. Click here and then on this line and then make it tangent. So you should get a fully defined sketch. All right, now let's go to extruded cut. Select this triangle and this triangle and make it blind four millimeters. All right, so you should get something like that by the end. Now let's add in fillets. It should be 0.125. Click on this line and then you will get this small pop up here and select connected end loop. Click OK and then click OK. So you should get something that looks like that. Now let's add in this chamfer, a top chamfer here. Go to sketch again circle this circle should be collinear to these and go to extruded cut make a draft here make it 60 so you should get something that looks like that All right now let's add in the um, the screw profile 
click on this face and go to sketch. Click on this line, convert entities, go to feature, curve, Alex. Um, the height should be 2, 29, the pitch is 1, starting angle is 0 degrees, and then click OK. Right, now let's select the top plane, and let's create a, a polygon again. So our polygon should look like that. Smart dimension. This should be 1 millimeter make it collinear to these and make this point and this curve coincident right now create center lines one here and another one over here let's add another south line here Right now, let's add in some dimensions. This should be 0.25, and another line here, and this distance should be 0.125. Now, let's create a three point arc and make it tangent to this one. Now let's go to mirror entities, this one and this one, mirror them about this center line here, click OK. Now let's trim entities, alright, let's add in some dimensions just to make our sketch black, alright, click OK and then exit sketch, and then go to swipe cuts click on this to the, the profile and then the curve click OK so you should get something that looks like that let's hide this helix and spiral and let's apply appearance polished steel on all the parts let's make the background plain white and there you go so that's our tutorial hope you like it and see you in the next one